guys, it's Sarah Oakler, author of 20 Boy Summer and Fixing Delilah Hannaford, and I am here guest vlogging today for the YA Rebels, talking about things I wish I knew before I got my book published. Um, well, it's four in the morning, almost, here in Buffalo, and I just made a fresh pot of coffee, so, um, yeah, but I already knew that. I already knew that writers were like this crazy, fiendish, vampire race that, you know, stayed up all night drinking coffee and coming up with ideas and just generally being neurotic. Um, this is such a tough question for me because I feel like it's it's one of those things where, yeah, there's a lot of things that had I known before I got published might have made my life a little easier after I got published, but at the same time, it's like if I had known them I wouldn't have gone through some of the things I went through and learned things and really um, grown from those experiences. There's a lot of things I wish other people knew about publishing, like just because you get a book deal doesn't mean that you're automatically flown into the Oprah show and given a suitcase with a million dollars in it. Um, I get that a lot. And also like asking people how much they got for their advance or how many books they sold is kind of like asking what your salary is. Um, so things like that that I wish, you know, friends and family knew. I guess they know now, watching this video, don't ask. But in terms of things I wish I knew, well, one thing that I really wasn't prepared for at all, it, it wasn't so much like the technical aspects of how long things take or, you know, the process of getting an editorial letter or things like that, you know, waiting for an arc, waiting for a cover design. It was more like the emotional roller coaster, the emo coaster. I, I totally wasn't prepared for that. Even though I tend to be emotional and neurotic anyway, just because I am, and I guess that's a lot of the reason why I write stories, especially for teens, because like, that was such a crazy emotional time in my own life, and I feel like I really enjoy connecting with teens on that level and kind of not reliving, but just reconnecting with that time in my life. Um, but just like the crazy emotional ride of, you know, you're on the other side for so long working on this book and, and thinking, when am I going to get an agent? And then you get your agent. And then you're like, when am I going to get a publisher? And then you get the publisher. When am I going to see it on the shelf? And it's like these constant mountains that just the summit keeps changing and growing. And um, I knew that that's how it worked, but at the same time, I wasn't, I just wasn't prepared for the ride, I guess. You know, but I, I don't, that's not a bad thing. But there's just been like a lot of neuroses around it, like, you know, I got a good review, and then five seconds later, I got a bad review, and then I got nominated for a award, and then someone didn't like my book, or someone didn't like my blog, or someone didn't like my hair. It's just like this up and down, up and down, up and down, and really, like, the biggest thing that I learned, I think, in 2009, my debut year, was just to kind of sit back and enjoy that ride. And it doesn't mean that it's always fun or that it's always easy or great, but it just means it's all part of the process and the bigger picture of, hey, guess what, you're a published author now. And I think any time that you have something that you're passionate about, something that's artistic, something that's like a part of you, and then and you're writing and you're writing and it's you, and then all of a sudden it's, everyone else sees it and it's a commodity and it's out there in the market and there's a price tag on it and there's a cover on it and people can comment on it, especially today online and um, that's hard. It's hard to make that transition. So I think that's the thing that, you know, has been the biggest learning experience for me. But for anyone out there who is, is facing this journey in front of them, enjoy it. Um, nothing I can say will really prepare you, but it just you just have to just sit back and, and just work hard and let it happen because truly, if you write, there is nothing more rewarding than getting to do it for a living. So thank you YA Rebels for having me and I hope everyone is doing great. Have a great weekend. And for those of you who are just about to get up because it's almost done, good morning. Bye-bye.